So with your analysis, uh, or stepping back a sec, we also have a geofactor analysis, which will give our geometric effect. So the HLM sensitivity that was run previously is based off of the range and distribution. This geofactor is based off of your um, geometry. So what this is going to give you is how much your geometry will amplify or mitigate your tolerances. And that's represented here with this G-factor number. A G-factor with a magnitude greater than 1 will amplify tolerances, and a G-factor with a magnitude less than 1 will mitigate tolerance. So if we look, uh, for example, at the size tolerance here, even though it has a range of 0.2, uh, its G-factor is a half, so it's effective six sigma. How much it actually affects the variation for this measurement is really 0.1. So this is just an additional tool for looking at your variation and what's contributing to that variation. See what is going to have the largest impact um, with the least amount of change. So ideally, uh, this model is uh, pretty well designed in that there's not too many high G factors. Uh, I think 1.15 is the largest that we'll see. Uh, but if you're starting to see your G factors in the 2 to 3 range or multiples of that, those are some of the items that you want to look at improving, whether you're uh, changing your assembly process to use different locators or changing your design to try to mitigate some of that amplification.